what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl sister girl on films and as you can tell by the title i will be giving my thoughts and opinions on they clone tyrone so if you're interested in my thoughts on this futuristic kind of like conspiracy theory driven comedy drama i don't know what you want to call it then stay right there we're gonna get right into it time to hang out with my sister girl hey sister girl on films hey sister girl on films they Clone Tyrone is kind of sci-fi, definitely has some action, definitely is a comedy, and it centers around Fontaine, Slick Charles, and Yo-Yo, who are people living in this kind of ambiguously mentioned town where there's a lot of crime and, and there's a lot of things that are happening, but Fontaine experiences a situation where it don't play out the way it's supposed to play out and so they unlock a bunch of mysteries that are happening inside this town and they find out that maybe things aren't quite what they seem and can't really be taken for face value they clone tyrone stars john boyega jamie fox and tiana paris and y'all I actually have been looking forward to this movie since I saw the first trailer that came out. Um, I want to say it was like last year or something. When I heard of who was starring in it, I immediately was like, if this turns out to be bad, it will be a travesty because I can't think of a time when Jamie Foxx was in a movie and I thought it was terrible. You know, maybe early on in his career, but even then he's had a pretty good track record. John Boyega is super talented and Tiana Paris, even though she's still, you know, getting those bigger roles so far, other than maybe uh, Captain Marvel. Ain't that the name of that movie? That wasn't that great. Um, other than that, uh, she's been doing pretty good. So I was optimistic about um, how this movie would turn out. I thought it was a very unique and interesting concept. You know, the idea of cloning black people, you know, what would that look like? What would that entail? What would be the point of it? And so after watching this movie, I absolutely loved it. They Clone Tyrone is so interesting. I felt like the director, Jewel Taylor, did a great job. He was a writer on, I believe, Creed 2, which was a great movie, but then he was also a writer on Space Jam 2. <laughs> so it could have went either way, but uh, it definitely went in the right way. And he's really young too. So um, I'm kind of excited, you know, to see what else he can kind of bring to the forefront in terms of sci-fi genre. You know, I don't know if that's where he wants to take his career, but he damn sure did a good job with this one. Um, the performances were as expected in this. They were amazing. John Boyega, I was ready to figure out where he lived, go to his house and slap the hell out of him because he killed this role. I don't know how these British actors really be picking up on some of these American accents. And I, the people that I was watching it with, they was like, what is this accent supposed to be? Does it matter? Because I feel like I know people who talk like Fontaine and his accent was so on point. His demeanor was so on point. Like, I don't know how he prepared for this role, but he prepared very well. Uh, Jamie Foxx, I loved him in this. Like, he's been playing in serious roles for so long that I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I forgot that Jamie Foxx originally was a comedian. He was so hilarious in this. Um, a lot of his lines felt like they were probably ad-lib just because of the way that they were delivered. Um, I just, I just enjoyed him. Him and John Boyega's chemistry in this and even Tiana Paris's chemistry in this was, was so good. Like, I don't know if I would want a sequel to this just because the, the curse of the sequels is so real that I would just, I feel like if it didn't go well, I would be so disappointed. And the way the movie ended that it definitely could lend to another sequel or maybe some spinoffs, but they clone Tyrone was really great. Kiefer Sutherland is even in this. And when the people I was watching it with, we all were like, Kiefer Sutherland, like black people, we love Kiefer Sutherland. I don't know when this happened, why this happened, but we like him. I don't know if it's because of his name. I don't, I don't, if you're black and you're watching this and you enjoy Kiefer Sutherland as an actor, let me know in the comments below. I, Cause I do, I was excited. I was like, Kiefer, what you doing here? I was excited. So 
I don't know why. Maybe that's why he was also in this because maybe it's an unsaid thing that black folks love Kiefer Sutherland. I don't know. The overall plot of the clone Tyrone, um, even though it is kind of sci-fi, but it still was very much about things that we experience in black culture, you know, and, and a lot of times you'll see it on social media when somebody, it, it's really common now, like black people doing X, Y, Z. And then, you know, it'll be something that's like, you know, us leaving all of our grocery bags underneath the sink and shit like that. And people are like, how do we all grow up in the same household? And I feel like this storyline maybe was built on that idea of like in our, in the black culture, black American culture, we have so many commonalities, no matter if you grew up on the West Coast, the East Coast, down South in the Midwest, there are still core things that we all do the same. Now, I'm sure that has a lot to do with the fact that most of our ancestors actually started in the American South and then migrated throughout you know, history. But um, could we also just be being brainwashed right now? <laughs> and interestingly enough, even though it's sci-fi and it kind of hits on some conspiracy theories, I feel like the way that they did it, there was a little bit of truth behind some of the things that they were saying in terms of, um, the type of content that we're exposed to um, and how it might be impacting our brain. So they take it to like the next level. And again, I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but a lot of it, it wasn't too far fetched. And I think that's one of the strengths of this movie is that it wasn't so convoluted that it was like, okay, this is just put on your tinfoil hat. Like this is just like BS conspiracy theories. It was something that really made you consider like, damn, like, are we being influenced by some of these things? You know, are we consistently consuming content that is kind of changing the way that we're, that we're perceiving each other, the way that we're viewing each other, the way that we're behaving? Um, you know, because we're not gonna act like throughout history, scientific tests have not been done to see the effects of propaganda, brainwashing, things like that. The shit really happens. Hell, Pavlov's dog is literally the most famous example of brainwashing and how easily the mind can be controlled after repetition of certain things so um I did appreciate that that was explored there wasn't anything I didn't like about this movie and I know that's not common and sometimes I'm like I gotta find something but there was nothing to find um I feel like it was a solid movie all the way through from the writing to the cinematography to the direction of it to the music choices I don't have any critiques about this movie it was was it perfect no but were there enough issues that I felt like oh that just pissed me off no actually there weren't um it's just hard for me to say anything is perfect because I'm sure there could have been something done better. But at this point, I don't know what it is. So y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What you thought about They Clone Tyrone. If you've already seen it, please don't give any spoilers um, in the comments. You know, if you do want to um, engage in a conversation with me about it, maybe just put like spoiler alert before your comment if it is a spoiler type thing. So if someone's scrolling through the comments, they don't get spoiled by anything. Yeah, y'all just let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't watched it, go watch it it's good I promise you you will not be disappointed um I definitely am going to watch it again because it was a good time and honestly y'all once it was over I was mad I wanted it to keep going I was just like oh no it's over already it felt like it went by so fast it was so good um so yeah so y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments below and as always y'all like this video share this video subscribe to my channel and I'm gonna see y'all next time hey Talk my shit and keep it honest, keep it independent. I hear them hating, but that's only cause they inconsistent. He said the weapon wouldn't prosper, not it would.